The Environmental Protection Agency has been fairly quiet recently and, you know, mostly because they're not involved in any of this pandemic response. But they did finally chime in this week and they offered their two cents on how best to handle this pandemic and their solution was more pollution, the EPA says. More environmental destruction, more toxins in the air and water. Now they may not have said those words, but they did tell corporations around the country that we're going to suspend any and all EPA enforcement initiatives during this pandemic, because you know, you may need to break those rules to, to help with production of, of things that, that may be helpful during the pandemic. So, uh, y'all do what you got to do. And we're just going to be over here self-isolating, not worrying about what you're doing. And, uh, you know, eventually we'll probably put the regulations back in place, except the EPA, when they announced this, didn't put any kind of timetable on there. They didn't set an end date. They didn't say, Hey, you've got three months to pollute as much as you want. And then we're putting the regulations back in place. No, they just said, eventually we'll put them all back in place. Right. And you can totally trust this agency that's being run by a former fossil fuel lobbyist, right? He wouldn't lie to us, except they are, and they will. And there is absolutely no reason whatsoever on this planet for environmental regulations to be suspended during a pandemic. That doesn't make any sense. That is not going to help production go faster. That is not going to put more supplies in the hands of those who need it. That's not going to increase the amount of oil and gasoline available. There's not even a shortage folks. The reason gas prices are so low right now and oil prices are so low is because Saudi Arabia had a surplus and they decided to go ahead and short sell it. That that's what happened, but we're being told it's, it's all because of the pandemic. No, no. I suggest you look into these kinds of things, folks. This, this is insane. We're setting ourselves up for a catastrophe that is going to dwarf anything than we have seen from the coronavirus. And that is the destruction of this planet. A virus we can eradicate. It's going to take some time. And yeah, a lot of people are going to die. We could have prevented a lot of those deaths had we taken action sooner. And that is the exact phrase we're going to be saying when these corporations destroy even more and more of our environment. We could have saved a lot of lives had we taken action sooner. We are facing down a climate catastrophe that this country isn't even thinking about anymore because of the Trump administration. We have presidential candidates still out there telling us, well, we can't get rid of fossil fuels. That's just silly talk. Folks, we, we don't have a choice. You know, you see what happens right now with the ventilators. Okay. We're out of ventilators. The federal government is failing to work out deals with corporations to make more ventilators because the government doesn't want to pay a billion dollars to General Motors to do it. Now imagine what's going to happen when suddenly we can't burn fossil fuels anymore because it's not just going to be a, okay and a year from now we got to stop. We're going to have to immediately stop. We're going to be in the same situation except instead of ventilators, it's going to be solar panels. Instead of ventilators, it's going to be wind turbines. It's going to be hydroelectric power. We're going to be caught between a rock and a hard place because we didn't take any precautions. But instead of doing that now, instead of learning our lesson, which we have failed to do time and time and time and time and time and time again, we're giving corporations the green light to destroy as much as the environment as possible while the EPA sits there cowering refusing to do anything. The EPA could still be doing their jobs, folks. They're choosing not to. And I can promise you they have been waiting for an opportunity like this ever since Trump first came to office.